It's D-Man with Quad V bringing you Rock Solid versus J-Pack and friends in the NESL. This is actually week three, match one. So we're going back a week here in uh, terms of casting, but I uh, managed to pick up the replay, so it's all good. So for J-Pack and friends, we're going to have Renekton, Ramos, Tarek, Vladimir and Urgot. For Rock Solid, it's going to be Mundo, Udir, Alistair, Corky and Malzahar. So again... Fairly tanky teams from both teams. This seems to be a uh, recurring theme between the top teams of late. For uh, Rock Solid, playing as the uh, purple team, is who we're actually spectating from. It is going to be Rambo, Locust, I'm a Cutie Pie, Narit, and Skara. For J Pack and Friends, it's going to be Onion Bagel, Doji, J Pack, uh, Blooms, and Unique Low. So, what will they be doing at the start? So, a quick look at items as well. We're. Uh, <laughs> They're complaining that Udi has not uh, not got the new skin. It's looking like, well, I was about to say it's looking like they're going for the <coughs> mid, but they're going really one by one by one. They need to uh, be moving as a group if you're going to be going into bushes like that. They were down there pretty quickly. So, uh, like I mentioned, Mundo, Alistair, Udi, pretty tanky. Took back up Malzahar and Corky. To get in front of them, but then again, it's the same with the other side. Renekton, Ramos, Urgot, Tarek can be spawn. sort of almost tanky. Now, we've seen Tarek, I don't know if you've seen J Pack and Friends in the past, I've definitely uh, done them in previous games. Tarek roams really well, J Pack certainly roams very well as Tarek. And uh, I'm a cutie pie, has actually been the carry in the last few games, so he's playing as Alistair Narriott instead playing as Corky. So, uh, changing roles, Narriott's normally the tank. So uh, I don't know that's whether you've seen Rock Solid play in the past. They've Minions won every game I've covered them so far, so they're on a very successful record. I believe they're doing very well in the uh, NESL at the moment. I think they are actually top team at the moment. So I'll be interested to see how they're going to do in the uh, EMS. So we'll go through the minion uh, minions, the items in a moment. Just uh, waiting to see if anything's going to happen, which it doesn't look like it is. The pings went out. They're pretty much covered, all spawns going out. They didn't bother stealing anything. So, going back to lane phase, looks like Corky's going to go up top. Malzahar mid, Alistair and Mundo heading towards the bottom, and Udir is going to be jungling for the opposition. It's going to be Ramus jungling. Tarek will be roaming up and down the lanes. Looks like Vlad up top versus Corky. Urgot in mid. May you want to switch them round, I don't know. Corky versus Urgot, Vlad, uh, Malzahar, they may want to change lanes. Um, Renekton down the bottom. But like I mentioned, Tarek's going to be whipping between them. Obviously, starts off with that level one stun, and it is a, uh, a quite a quite a long range stun as well. It's uh, it can cause issues. We're seeing Renekton down bottom. Need to be wary that there's a lot of hit points on those two heroes. But Renekton, you're going to feel is going to get decent force. There he is, Tarek, straight away at the top. That I think uh, he managed to. I don't know whether he took Valkyrie at the start there. Right there, I don't think he did. He definitely got the stun on. Oh, he's got a cleanse, that's why. He must have cleansed himself straight out of it. <coughs> so now they know Tarek's up top. I assume they're going to try and zone out Renekton for a short while. So there is J-Pack making a mad dash. Gets stunned again there, Corky. Try and keep my eyes on that one. Adir's uh, returned back into jungle. Been him bought himself... Uh, I'm not sure what he's been him bought himself. He's just not had a very good successful jungle run at the start there. Again, Corky's been stunned. He's going to have to... No, he hasn't done Valkyrie. He didn't Didn't Valkyrie out of it. I guess he's feeling confident he got out of it. Whether he took blind in the armor penetration early on or whether he's gone for Valkyrie. Personally, I would have. I'd have gone straight for it as soon as I knew uh, Tarek was going to be hanging around in the lane. I'd have got straight in there. So feeling very twitchy at the moment, Corky. Alistair is going to uh, come up and have a pop. See if he can get a punt onto... Vlad. Apologies if you hear any knocking, and that would be my blinds tinkering away. And it is very warm here in the UK at the moment. I'm trying my best to keep all windows open. I have to kind of shut all shut down everything when I'm doing casting. All phones off. Try and keep all outside noises to a minimum, but it doesn't always successfully work. The cow just absorbing the experience and Mundo going at it with down the bottom here with Renekton. Managed to take Renekton lower than I think he thought. He had a lot of minions hitting him in the process there. There's a big minion wave with Rambo on Mundo. So Onion Bagel. And 
to use a hill pock. We're uh, we're going to see delayed hit blips. We are viewing this from I'm a cutie pie's angle. We just got a glimpse of Tarek around the backside here. You can see that Corky's actually pushed the lane, so he needs to be careful that Tarek doesn't come up there. j -Pack, like I mentioned, he roams quite a lot. He could easily come out and pop out. Oh, no, I missed first blood. Tragic. It looks like Ramus just popped out of jungle there. I see Onion Bagel actually picked it up on Renekton. I'm pretty sure it just saw Ramus there. Yes, he did. He got the assist, so he's in the bush somewhere. Didn't quite catch him spinning out. I hate missing first blood. I'm so focused on the fact that Tarek was going to go for Corky at the top here. Which I'm guessing he did since he was low hit points. But I missed it. I'm a cutie pie. Meanwhile, down the bottom, giving a good punt to Renekton up the back side. Alistair, this is obviously before the uh, patch, which is just coming out today. So that's when you know when I've recorded this. The patch due today. Clairvoyant's going down. And uh, J-Pack and Blums, Blums going to be pushing that top turret. Looks like Mundo is switching with Renekton, so Mundo going to go up top now. And Corky going down south versus Renekton. Malzahar's port in back, so Skara's being forced back from lane. I'll give you a uh, CS count in a moment. But as it is, yeah, Corky's returned down bottom, so Alice is going to be picking up a few. He's going to ward up the river there. So yeah, like I was saying, Alistair uh, roams a lot. <coughs> Tarek, zero. Alistair and one. Exactly uh, really how it should be, I guess. It's the, it's the way the game's turned around. It is so those roaming heroes. It always used to be the assassin that roamed, and it worked very well when you get kills, but if you don't, then it kind of backfires. So now the carries are being fed more. It's just the way players of the game's really developed, is to get more more feed to the, the carriers so they really can actually be carriers as opposed to like a, you get it get someone fed and a proper carry in Hon then well GG frankly because one player can turn a game in that game and like this is very much team reliant which is why I'm sure a lot more people prefer League of Legends looking like we have Ramus spinning down the bottom where he's going to whether he just took Dragon I wouldn't have thought so he's in level 5 I don't know whether he was blocking him off though. Deer's going to come around the backside of Urgot. Urgot's easily going to walk away from that one. So Ramos does come spinning around the side. He's been locked on by Urgot, so he's going to try and put a bit of damage onto him. And definitely three hit him three times, and he's backing away. They were continuing to chase, so I can only assume that he, no, he didn't take too much damage there. Cookie's being pushed back by Renekton down the bottom here. Lester's managed to catch hold of Vladimir, but Tarek and Ramos were close by. And there is Tarek. You can see him just coming out. They've got the ward down on the blue. So you can see Tarek is in around the area. Clairvoyant's also going down from j -Pack and Friends. So Vlad's got himself out of that one. So he used a flash there. Both low hit points for Renekton and Corky, but you've got to feel Renekton would feel confident in maybe getting a kill on Corky if he stepped out a little bit too far there. Back in the middle. Scarra's not really having any problems. You can see Tarek making a, an approach. Well, Malzahar's going to have seen that. and He's very hard to pin down. He did just <laughs> see that stun. It's almost like petulant. He's going to get the lock on him, get a couple of hits on him as well. So he did take a bit of damage. Chipping away. j Pack's going up river. Ramos now on blue, but they haven't got anyone in the area to really... Prevent it. Tarek once again coming round to have another go at Malzahar. Mundo up top. Ramos is going to get that blue without any issues. So the ward being used to no effect other than purely getting vision on the river. Ramos picking that up. Tarek is still in mid with Ergot. And Renekton pushing lane. It's like. <coughs> Narrator's been and bought. Oracle now on I'm a cutie pie. So he's going to try and clear them wards out. You can see Tarek looks like he's going to divert towards Gollum. No. Renekton missing at the moment. We've not seen Tarek coming back, so he's probably in these reeds here, which is, yep, where Alistair's going to go. So get out of our jungle. Mundo pushing heavily onto Vladimir at the top here. Mundo obviously has the regen to be able to cope with Vlad and keep him 
where he should be in lane. I mentioned CS count is 60-66, so RS with a slight lead in the in minion kills. 57-54, not not that far ahead to be fair. In the mids though, 66 versus 59, pretty much bang on. Sorcerer's boots now for Malzahar. Renekton going pretty tanky. Just caught Corky up the top there. To manage into Valkyrie away from it. Ooh, careful. Tarek backing away. He's got ulti now though, so we can start blasting those minion waves away. Let me cutie pie roaming again, going up towards the top. He's in that oracle, trying to pick out any wards that he can find. I'm not too sure how many he's got so far. I've not really been tracking him too much. Looks like they're pinging onto Urgot. I don't think they're going to be able to gank here. They're going to hope to get a stun and a suppress, I believe. Mundo's going to port away, so they're coming back down to mid. He needs to look out. So I believe there's a ward in this. Or whether he was just guessing. No, he was just guessing. There was no ward. He was just guessing that Adir might be there. Adir returns to the jungle. And 11 minutes in, just the one kill, which I missed. So yeah. GG me. Vlad continues to push up top. He's got missing at the moment because we don't have vision on that lane. I can't imagine he's gone too far. Corky needs to be wary down the bottom here. If he gets that single stun from Tarek on him, I think he'll be dead. He will pop. Renekton could jump straight on him. Vlad is still up top there with that minion wave. He's got Alistair with him now. So Tarek in that bush. Going to take a jump on him here. Going to get the stun on him. And out comes Alistair. Punts <laughs> Renekton straight away. <laughs> Flew him backwards. Had that momentary lapse of, huh? What just happened? It is warding up the dragon, so may well take a pop at that. We're getting to the stage where they may well go for it. Unless they need to continue roaming, see any of those wards. I'm not too sure whether he's actually found any. So whether JPEG and friends are just not using any. They were very good at roaming early stages in the last game I saw them, but fell apart towards the end. Let's see if they do it again this time. So Alistair is going to port away on tower. Leaving Corky to quite happily carry on feeding Ramus. Now we see around the jungle area. And uh, Alistair's going to make a beeline straight for it. You can see the waypoint already gone there. Malzahar was just thinking maybe having a look up top. I don't think they've really got any kills on. Looking like they're going to make a go for Dragon here. There's a ping on it. Udir is making his way across as well, so... Looks like Rock Solid going to maybe have a go at Dragon. We've lost sight of bottom lane at the moment, though. So there is Ramus. Ramus just warding it up. Just perfect timing for uh, for Alistair to come around and take that ward out. corky has got himself a big minion stack. He could do with pushing both the minion stack waves back. They're almost trapping Urgot here. They are. Oh, shot your load too early, Skara. Came out too early. They were just about to walk into it. Now they've all backed out. I think Alistair, did he just take the ward out in mid? I missed him. And now they need to push the minion waves back. Vlad has gone missing. Vlad's come back. So he'd gone down river, so he was heading towards Dragon as well. Corky's just been caught there by Renekton. Gonna have to back away a little bit. They really want to get those minion waves pushed before they go for anything on Dragon, which is what they're doing. Just catching a glimpse on Urgot there, Alistair punting him back. Alistair obviously. Looking to get quite a healthy patch coming up. As Malzahar, well, he's got himself a catalyst and then sorcerer's boots. <coughs> Must have a fair amount of gold in him by now, because I'm sure it's been a while since he'd been on board. Vlad Ward being taken out there by Alistair. So making use of the Oracle and warding up himself. Not seen Tarek with a Oracle yet, doing similar. Renekton making his way up towards mid. Oh, and he's coming around the side, so he's going to get aggressive on Malzahar here. Possibly looking for the jungle as well. The is still back at base, actually, so we can just catch a glimpse of Renekton coming back. So Corky's well aware, going to push that lane. See, now they're sort of almost building up towards where they're going to get a chance to go for Dragon. If they can get those lanes pushed enough, Renekton's going to make a dive on him there. and He's got Valkyrie to get away, which is exactly what he does. Alistair comes... Back down to mid. Still only level 5. Doesn't have his uh, ulti just yet. So 
Unbreakable Will. And are they going to go for Dragon? He comes around, finds a ward in the backside of Dragon. So that has been snuck in the back there. So it's a good way of collecting gold, really. It's making that Oracle pay as well. More, more, more uh, wards you find, the more money you get. 25 gold per ward. Loving that. Clever points down on Dragon. And again, they come around the backside of it. Down the bottom, Cookie returns to lane, and Mundo and Vlad continue their their slow game. So, 15 minutes so far, not a lot happened. It has to be said, it's been a pretty slow, steady game. Very much tactical sort of stuff. No roaming ganks really working for either of them. Ramus and Alistair, Ramus and Tarek, sorry, coming round. The deer's backing away. Doesn't want to get caught. So nobody's getting set up for the ganks. They've of warding each other. Ram is spinning up in bush there, but I don't think he's going to be able to get to Malzar. Malzar's pretty much sat on tower. As Mundo continues to fend off Vlad. See, the difference is, though, Vlad's getting fed at the top here. He's just chewing on the minions. 109, 116, 118, 103, 115. So, fairly high mini count. And uh, j just with the two as the roaming Tarek. Did he go for his third there? I thought he was going to go for the... Uh, Go for the little minion. And he's not. He's going to get caught, though. He's going to get caught by Ramus. Straight in there. Gets the silence on him. Suppressed. And that's going to be the first kill for Rock Solid. And j -Pack just caught out. And Tarek. Meanwhile, down the bottom here, we just saw caught a glimpse of Corky Valkyrie away. Mundo's got around the backside of Vlad here. Vlad's pretty low as well. But, uh, I, think, I think Mundo's ulti was just used up. So... And this is going to get himself a bit of free farm in mid. They have taken down the Roma. They could really do with the deer getting over, which is what he's doing. Going to get over and try and have a go at Vlad here? No, he's back to white. <coughs> I think they just saw Ramos going up top. Maybe white. Unless he's working his way up river. And again, Corky and Renekton very close. Renekton diving in on him. Again, getting that stun on him, but he'd already Valkyrie away. Vlad starting to get a little bit of poke on the tower now at last. Meanwhile, Urgot is he's trying to get all aggressive in mid. I'm not sure if he realises he's got Odir and Alistair sat in that bush. He obviously hasn't got any wards there. You can see Oracle still on top. Meanwhile, Mundo pops his... Is he going to pop his ulti on? Try and have a go at Vlad. Force him out of lane. We're not seeing the full hit points of him. He's going to pull away, though. So he's going to easily get away. Meanwhile, they're diving on to Urgot. Urgot used his flash, so some of the skill used... And you can just see Tarak and Renekton pushing on to Corky down the bottom here. So Mundo's got a bit of a free lane at the moment up top. 17.30 into this game. Still no dragon. They've cleared out the wards for it a few times. Remember, they both have the clairvoyance, which kind of dictates the pace. Renekton's going to get another dive at Corky there. This time he's going to have the Valkyrie over the top of him. He needs to be careful. He doesn't get stunned. That was very close. Tarek there almost getting on him. But they have uh, his teammates coming down. They got forced away, remember. So Alistair's going to come down. Have another look around Dragon. No wards there. Gonna take it steady. 18 minutes. Mundo been back and bought. What's he bought himself? He has bought himself Spirit Visage, Giant Belt, Mercury Treads. Pretty tanky. Man Immune and uh, Sheen on Corky now. So he's been farming nicely. Needlessly large rod now on Malzahar as well. So it's upped his AP. Vlad's also got needlessly large rods on Vicape and Renekton. And Man Immune on Urgot. Looks like it's possibly going to be happening at blue. Still waiting for Corky to get that lane forced more than anything, which is what Malzar is trying to do. Vlad's now come down to mid, which means Mundo's going to try and push that lane as much as possible on top. You can see Vlad working his way straight back up to top there. There was Urgot was around here as well, so Mundo needs to be a little bit wary. There's two coming towards him, but that could free up the dragon. And it won't. Vlad's about to pop out up top. And there's four down the bottom here. <laughs> Got once again makes a dive on Alistair. Alistair just punts him away. Got a lot of stun here. Ramus is going to spin onto Alistair. Are they going to go for Dragon? No. Still don't want to try for it. So Mundo and Vlad continue their never ending battle. And Corky continues to push the lane at bottom. So he's pushed it enough. That uh, Alistair's managed to get in there and take that take that ward down. Another 25 gold. Thank you very much. Oracle is working well so far. They've been unable to track him down. And Q 
Petey Pie. Ooh, see Mundo's had a bit of a poke cannon from Vlad here, so I'm guessing Vlad may have used his ulti up there to get that much damage onto Mundo. Oh no, we just need his hit <laughs> blip go straight up, so maybe not. I'll, uh, we're just getting delay from uh, Army Cutie Pie's feed, that's all it is. As we get ported back by Army Cutie Pie, well, Narit finally is going to get a bit of hit on the tower here. He has to be wary. He knows that there's nobody around the dragon, but Tarek could easily come out the side here and catch him. He's got a long way to go if he's got Renekton in there as well. Renekton just makes an appearance and he backs straight out. So getting a couple of hits on the tower and off he goes. Mundo does the same with Vlad up top. Malzahar not really pushed the lane too much against They've got Remus coming around the side. Are they going to try again called Remus? Surely not. Uh, no, they're not going to bother. They know he's around there though, so... As to setting up, taking out the wards, as Vlad's just put down there. He's making a lot of gold off these wards, and finally we're seeing Oracle and JPAC. So JPAC starting to do the same thing. So they need to be defending that ward, or it's about to go. Again, we see Mundo and Vlad duking it out. Wow, this, this really has not got much action happening in it. Apologies, but I do try and pick the replays without knowing any results on what's happened in the game whatsoever. So, Malzahar being forced out of lane by Urgot there. As Alistair roams around. Going to come back and have a go at Urgot there. See, will. Alistair Tarek, sorry, is missing. He's going to keep poking on to... He's trying to bait him in, and I think he knows about it. He's not, he's not taking the bait. He's staying well away from the the uh, brush. Staying square in the middle of the lane. He's got Ramus up around the side. So, yeah, they're not going to be able to get a gank on him there at all. Renekton continues to push Corky down bottom. Mundo continues to hound Vlad out of the lane with those big meat cleavers. Scammer's going to clear that minion wave. Well, no need to be a little wary. Nobody sneaks up on him. He's uh, very hard to pin down. He can just stroll out of most situations with the hit points so he can regenerate. So Corky continuing to farm. I think this is going to be a battle of the farm. Suddenly it's all going to kick off and then it's going to be one big fight and towers will crumble very quickly because they are fast approaching 200 minions here. Malzahar, Corky, 180, 174 for Urgot, nearly 170 for Vlad. 142 and 169 for Mundo. So Corky obviously with the more minions than Renekton, but that's kind of a given. As he comes in, armor penetrating and popping that ulti, popping those rockets into Renekton's face, who I think is still in that bush. <coughs> yep, there he is, just pops out. So Mundo goes back to pushing lane. Kind of almost can't help it. Trying to force Vlad, trying to zone him out of it. Doing as much as he can. Vlad just can just life steal it back and stick with him. Renekton pushing tower. Nobody nobody getting any when close to the towers. Finally, are we gonna see a dragon? This dragon could go down very quickly. he has got himself pretty fed. He's got a wriggles and uh well that's about it really. Mercury treads. No, they're not gonna go for it. I think they're baiting. I think they're just baiting. See if JPAC and friends have anything around here. They've got the defensive ward in place now, so they can see what's coming. Yes, they're going to go for it. Corky is got Tarek down with him. Renekton's missing at the moment, so they're getting to get the ward. Now they're going to back out again, see if there's anyone going to bite for it. They're going to go for it. They know Vlad's up top. He's low health. He can't do anything about it. Urgot is in mid. He could come, but he could get caught. Corky also comes Valkyrie in his way in there. Quickly gets the dragon, and the first dragon finally going down. Vlad being chased by Mundo there, out of lane completely. Mundo's going to take a few hits from the tower as he passes by, but he's not too worried about that. He's Mundo. So first dragon finally going to rock solid. And uh, JPEG and friends not really able to do a fat lot about it. <coughs> Renekton had pushed the lane in the meantime, but, well, lane pushing doesn't mean a lot when you can't create any chances from it. 
Wow, the cow is actually picking up some farm at last. He's at level 7, so he's uh, fallen behind the levels when you look at Malzahar on 16. Corky on 15, but that's exactly what they should be on. So Mundo's really going to be the tanky one near the end on 16. He's uh, got himself a Sunfire Cape completed now. Malzahar's thinking of maybe having to go at Urgot. Adir is there as I get pulled back. Adir's going to get the stun on him, surely. No, he's going to shield himself up. Yeah, just got away in time. Silence didn't quite get down. The minion's almost blocking the route. Meanwhile, down the bottom here, Renekton's having another go at Corky. Corky turns around, pops a big bomb in his face. So Sunfire Cape on uh, Renekton now. Sunfire Cape, Spirit Visage, almost identical build to, uh, to Mundo at the top here. In fact, it is pretty much identical. Corky continues pushing on lane. Vlad and Mundo continue to have their standing duel. Tarek's being chased. It'd be nice to get him down. He's got the Oracle on, which is taking out those wards. You can see there's no ward placement whatsoever from, from uh, Rock Solid in River, apart from this one at the top. Oh, Ramus has come around the top side of Mundo. I am not think he's lost sight of him, though. And Vlad was almost forced out. But that means he's probably just been stealing jungle from Udir there. Ramos is going to return to Gollum. And they may well try and pick him off on it. I don't know if he put any wards down while he was around there. He needs to be wary. He's only level 7 compared to level 16 of Vlad. Vlad could do a lot of damage here. He's going to go straight into it. He's going to pulverise him. He's going to have to kick him away. And Vlad's thinking better of it. Going after him there. Got himself level 8 there, bless. No roaming ganks at all, really. Very cautious play from both teams, has to be said, and they are not being caught. Mundo managing to catch a slow on to Urgot there, but nothing else coming from it. So Alistair's picking up three lane. So now it's Mundo's turn to start roaming. He's level 17. Ward's going down. Are they going to start pushing a tower? It's about time they do. Chopper going straight through on J-Pack. They're not really landing anything. I see well, uh, Alice is going to struggle to keep Vlad away from this tower. It has to be said. And that tower is already at half health. He's not going to be able to do a fat lot about this. Which is exactly why he knows about it. He's being very cautious. That tower is going to go down if they're not careful. Munda's going to try and work his way up. And Alistair, can he get a pulverize on him in time? He's going to work him away. He's trying to taunt, trying to bait him into having a go. Look at the damage he just does straight on him. Because he's so low in levels. He's eight full levels behind him. And that tower is now perilously close to going down. So they chose to mix it up and let Mundo try and roam a little bit. But he simply can't hold that lane. Meanwhile... Rock solid and a little bit of trouble on mid-level now. We've got Urgot trying to push it with Tarek. Corky is being forced back. He's down to hardly anything here. He needs to really force... He's just... He's wary of it. Yeah, he's, Urgot was coming around the side there, so he's had to back away from Tower again. So there's going to be a stack coming up in a moment. Corky, he's got... I'm a cutie pie coming down on Alistair. Rock solid, despite getting that early dragon, they're a little bit... A little bit flaky on the towers at the moment. They've, that top one is only on 100 hit points. The mid one, Urgot starting to work his way to it. And Renekton is slowly but surely pushing onto that. But Corky's took a good chunk of his own off that tower. The tower's had a little poke from Malzahar, but he's not overly stretched himself because he needs to be wary of this Ramus, which is coming round to the side of him right now. Mundo's forcing... Uh, uh, Vlad, sorry, forcing Mundo back. Needs to be wary that Mundo doesn't... Uh, Ramus doesn't spin out, sorry. Ramus is possibly still in this bush. Not seen him since. There he is. He's up top. Mundo's chasing onto Vlad. Needs to back out of it. He's got a lot of minions with him, though, so... Ramus is going to try and taunt him. Try and, oh, he got the rupture on him. Taunt just about in time. Vlad's going to be careful, though. He's gone straight into all those minions. Takes the minion wave out. Ramus continues to chase on him there. Doesn't quite get the finishing blow. But Malzahar comes up. He's surely going to be able to get Vladimir there. He does. He's going to get a suppress on him. That's going to be Vlad down. Ramus may also go down with it. He's going to be coming. He's going to get the dot on him. He gets the die life still, and he does a double kill there. So Malzahar coming up at a vital time. Saving Mundo's backside. Mundo just about escaped from it, but that's going to be a double kill for Malzahar. 
And that's the person you finally want to start to be fed. So now 3-1, 29 minutes. Like I said, it could start all happening very quickly. They're all at the level. Once they start getting caught, Odea comes out. He's in level 12. He's going to be on to Urgot. Urgot's just using Suppress. Won't have that. Gets another dot on him. Odea's trying to use his stuns as much as possible. Going to take the tower hits. He's going to get away. Return to lane. Munda's going to have a good chomp at this top tower. And there it goes. We saw it full health, but we knew it was lower because... The, uh, the delays from I'm a Cutie Pie. Meanwhile, I'm a Cutie Pie and Corky having to go over next. And Renekton's going to go down there as well. And Alistair just stepping out to keep that minion wave at bay. And well, I'm a Corky could take it. And the mid turret goes down there, just toppling left, right, and centre. Mundo comes across in support. Dragons respawn, so they're going to go straight for that. And Corky's probably going to take this bottom turret down as well. So three turrets in the space of around about a minute there, along with three kills. That's how quick it turned. It was getting to that stage, getting to that level of heroes. When it when you stay in level phase for 30 minutes, you know it's going to go quickly. Once once one triggers, once one battle is won and lost, it turns pace very quickly. Urgot just down the side there. Well, he's just had to go at uh, a deer. Maybe he got a ward there. I don't know. Vlad's going to take that top turret. I don't think they're going to get there in time. Vlad's going to. Get the first turret for j -Pack and friends if he sticks around. It's only on 100 health, so the minions may do it for them. There's a couple of them are beating on it there. Um, well, there's a call for Baron just coming out there. Top turret's actually not going to go down. So Vlad could have took that turret down, but he was very wary. Has obviously got no wards down, didn't have any vision, so didn't want to go for it. 31 minutes now. 4-1 kills. Minion waves, well, you can see 268, 269. Like I said, they're at... 200 plus they've all pretty stacked up on items now so you can see they're really completing a couple of builds Ergot's got himself a Quicksilver Sash there so as well as the Man Immune the BF Saw the Brutalizer the uh, Death Cap and uh, completing the Rylers as well the looks of it there Vlad just keeping my eye on the map while the thing doesn't kick off Renekton looks like he's about to give himself a Force of Nature Malzaha, well you can see Malzaha's got a lot of AP there. 3 0. Banshees, Void Staff, Death Cap. Man Immune Trinity Force for Corky. So, really a lot of items. So, they're pretty much complete despite the fact we've really not had that much action happen. You can see that the. Here is, well, they've got getting the damage onto Mundo. He's probably the last person he wanted to lock on and do damage to because he can just regenerate that no time at all. Mundo's got himself that Force of Nature now. Along with the Spirit of the Sergeant. Ramos going for blue. Ramos is going to get caught out here. He's going to get kicked. And wow, he just went down in seconds there. Got completely caught out. Don't know what he was thinking. He's going for a ward, I think. He's going to ward on blue, possibly. Now, this is going to come in. Can he get a rupture? Oh, he beautiful kick onto Urgot. Urgot's going to go down, I think. The dot went on him. Vlad goes down as well. I think Urgot's going to get away. Yes, he will, but Renekton is not. So Mundo may have finished him off. I didn't quite see. I think Urgot got away. Yes, he did. But that's going to be another tower down. That's just how quick it's going to turn. 32 minutes. 7-1 now. And Rock Solid surely going to take this base tower as well. It's just going to steamroll straight in. Quick, quick action. Well, I'll say quick action. It's a pretty quick three minutes of action. First 30 minutes, you may as well fast forward through because not a fat lot happens. Finally, the inhibitor goes down. And this is how quick it was going to turn. We knew they'd built up. It's amazing to see a game with 30 minutes in lane phase. It really is. With so much roaming and not a lot happening. Going to steal Gollum on the way out. And, well, to be honest, they could have stole Baron on the way out. I think, yeah, they, well, they may well have gone for it. But they're going to clear that top. That top turret is going to go to minions. There's no way that minion wave is going to stop, especially with the tank there. So that does go down. Bottom tower has a few minion waves on it, but uh, nothing important. They've warded up enough of Baron now, so they've got plenty of defensive. Urgot comes in and goes, damn it, they've stole it. Of course they have. Face check in the bush there. They could have easily just sat there. And, well, we don't know whether Ramas did come down to try and ward, I think, but uh, he got completely caught out. So 7 1 now. And William's potion being. Used by Malzaha as well in there. That Banshee. They're going to push on mid turret. And uh, I think they may get it. They've got a stack of minions and they've got enough damage to certainly pump out some action. But Rock Solid can come and defend it. So they get the hell off our turret. Not today, thanks. Mundo is around. And I tell you what, if 
JPEG and friends lose this battle in mid. They are a long way from towers. They have super minions coming in at them. If they lose the battle there, it could well be game over for them already. Alistair's going to come around the side. They're setting up for Baron here, I think. They're waiting for the super minion stacks to push. But they can't really go for it when there's so many nearby. Udia's not quite hit exponential levels that he can just nom it down himself. <coughs> They're trapping for it. They're trapping for Baron. Seeing whether Ramos wants to spin to win to come in. Monkey's going to pick up red. And there is Renekton. Here they come. They've just got a glimpse of Mundo. Oh, Renekton's gone in on his own there. He's going to chase onto Corky. They were a little bit split off here, Rock Solid. Alistair's around the side. They need to be cautious. They've been caught in a split position. I don't know why, because they were trapping for it. And then they didn't quite seem confident enough. Tar oh, wow. And he's just coming around the side there. Alistair, sorry, he's like getting my tongue tied. Malzahar getting Renekton suppressed there. And, uh, Ramos, of all people, is going to go down first. Ramos does go down. Looks like Renekton's going to go down as well. It's all kicking off suddenly. Vlad's going to cap, pick up two of his own, though. And Corky and Malzar are going down. And Vlad's going to get out of that one. So rock solid. Well, Mundo went off chasing. That's the fact. He left his team. He's the fed tank and left Vlad to just dive in there. Ulti onto... Cool. Not that he can stop uh, Vlad really ulting onto Corky and Malzar. So 2-2 two -two there in even fight. And really rock solid. They were setting up for a setting up for a trap on Baron and, and then kind of split themselves. I don't know what they were thinking there. So Alistair survived of all people. This might get caught in the middle of pulverizing. They're gonna take the inner turret down bottom though, so not all lost. Picking up a turret en route can never be too bad. Obviously the super minions forcing uh, J Pack and friends back. Though it's just going to back away. There's the old lizard buff by the looks of it on the way out. Uh, Dragon is up. Mundo is thinking I'm going to take this red buff all my own. And idea is going to start on Dragon, so they're going to take both. They've got thought about having a look. But, uh, Ramos picks up the lizard buff. So Dragon also going. Udia is going to pick that up no problem. 37 minutes, 9 3 kills. The uh, highest kill score as well. It's going to be Malzahar, obviously. He's up to near 300 minions now. So 300 minions for Corky as well. 280, 280 for Vlad. So they're all closing in on 300 minions. So really, it's a case of one big team fight. If it tilts either way, I think it could be GG. So JPAC is setting up for a possible Baron here. Corky is nearby. They've just warded it up. That's all they've done. They've warded it up. And they back straight out of there. Oracle on, uh, it's on JPAC still. I don't think he's actually died in any of these exchanges. So we're not kept using it. Vlad's going to clear the bottom lane out. Again, they've built that <coughs> super minion stack. They've got a stack on the left side. So they are at prime time to go for Baron. They have stacks in either lane. Or at least they're certainly trapped for it. And they are. Mundo's already on it. Mundo's working away on it while the rest of the team just blocks him. If it here goes on it, it'll go down very quickly along with Corky. Corky's coming across from the side. He's picked up. He's going to be split again, split away from the action. So they're kind of... Yeah, they're baiting. So they've not actually got the Baron. They've just backed away. Mundo is down to half health, though, but you can easily regen that. Corky's again been caught out from the side. He's going to come around and Valkyrie's way into the fight. We'll just come around the back side. So they're going to back away. Vlad's got himself both buffs. So he's going to be the damage dealer in this fight. He's going to be the one that needs to be watching. Oh, they've just caught someone there. It was Ramos. They're going to back straight out. Mundo's managing to catch him with his chopper. And they're going to go in again for it. No, they're baiting it. Basically, this fight, win or lose, I think it's game over. So they are going to go for it. They're going quick for it as well. Look how quick the hit points go down. And it's going to be got before... They managed to get in. JPEG and friends now diving in for it. Don't think they're going to get it. Baron's been picked up by Rock Solid. Rock Solid going to go for it now. Vlad pops this for his ulti immediately. Pulls straight through. Looks like Renekton's being held. Renekton being suppressed there. But Ramos is also going to go down very quickly. Mundo's actually been the target for some unknown reason by JPEG and friends there. Look, Ergot's going to go down. He's not going to be able to escape there. Vlad does finally go down. There goes Ergot. Tarek, the last man standing. Flashes through. Doesn't matter. Super Minion's going through mid. Big stack on bottom. Big stack on top. And that is going to be GG. Ergot. 
I'm not too sure why Mundo became the target in there. Was it simply a case of they couldn't get near the other? The others are what? I don't know. But they're just going to follow the super minions and they're just going to tank the turret, frankly. Mundo's going to go in, tank it, pop his ulti, walks out, going to take it in turns to tank the turrets down. That's going to go down very quickly. Surrender vote comes out. GG to Rock Solid, who pick up the victory. There you go. There's a the screen. You can get a pause on that one. This is Demon with Pod V bringing you League of Legends. It was a slow burner, but it got going and finally finished very quickly.